Councillor Donnelly, Autism Friendly Playground, Dublin 15, proposed by yourself, seconded by Councillor Tracy. Um, look, I'm not going to, um, to, to hold this up. I just, I don't think there, anybody who's been involved with, with autism and, and supporting families with autism will realise that it's, it is very complex and people are very individual. Um, however, um, as was said earlier on uh, about the disabilities in disability children with wheelchairs and access to facilities within the parks, I mean, I put in a motion, it must have been about a year and a half ago, two years ago, around the same thing, about looking for, uh, you know, people uh, in wheelchairs to some of the facilities. And to be honest with you, if you go into the Millennium Park, which is across the road me and a minute every single day, if you had a young person in a wheelchair, it's not really that accessible to them. The equipment is not accessible to them. The same with autism. You know, for a lot of there's a sense, a lot of sensory issues for for young people with autism. If they're in a playground with with um, children who uh, say mainstream children who are playing around, uh, screaming and shouting, that that would be very disruptive um, for young people. So, if you look at say some shopping centres, they're creating uh, autism friendly hours. Or you might have a, a cinema, hairdressers, barbers, people like that, who are recognising that the normal environment for, for young people with autism is not the same. You cannot have the same thing. So, so when we see the answer in that, you know, we're friendly, friendly and we're friendly for disabilities, that's true to a point. Um, but when there's children who have maybe more needs, then we're not really addressing their, their, their needs at all. Um, and I think we do need to maybe just have a sit down, and it's not a criticism, I'm just saying, I think we need to sit down with, with say, autism support groups like Snowflakes, and there's, there's one here in Dublin 15, which is in Mountview, um, to sit down and have a look and say, well, um, to, to support young people, because they, they, are, they are entitled, they're, they're pretty much disenfranchised, there's very few places to go. I work with young people in Tusla all of the time, and families, and it, there, there really is, we struggle to find, whether it be mainstream services, or whether it be services that are out there for young people to engage in, outside of, of, of uh, the community. Their engagement with, with football clubs, basketball, etc., doesn't exist because of their special needs. So we do need to look at that. We need to be very conscious in, uh, of how we move forward with this one. And I do think we should sit down with, with the autism groups and say, what can we do? Is there something that we can provide that will help and support them into the future? Thank you. Much, uh, just I'd like to support the motion myself. I think it's a very good idea. Uh, they do, you know, it's yeah. badly required. Yeah, uh, manager. Um, I'd like to agree with um, Councillor Donnelly. We on it so that we can discuss these issues with them directly. Um, autism is a huge spectrum from the side that don't like any noise to the, yeah. to the side of kids who love rebounding off items and doing percussion. Um, but our playgrounds are for everyone. But we want to make sure they are welcome for everyone. So if you do know of a group do ask them to contact us. Um, the reason I say that is that, no, we're not m building any new playground at the moment, but we're always um, improving our playgrounds and replacing items in playgrounds. Um, Waterville, I know they're going to be replacing items. And if there's a piece that would be... F um uh, Councillor, would you come in? Yeah, just very quickly. And no, I genuinely appreciate that. I think it's... Uh, it's very welcome to hear that, that it's so open. Um, I suppose look, I've been, there is a, a sensory garden that I was part of helping to develop up in Wellview um, Centre up in Tuzla uh, Centre up there um, in Wellview Green. And hopefully that will be opened. Obviously, we have wait for some of the things to grow because it's a sensory garden uh, in the next number of months, I'd say the next two months. So, you know, it's, it's that type of initiative, I think, that we should be supporting as well. People, so thank you. Thanks.